Today we are going to have a look on what is articles. Articles. An article is a word that modify or describes the noun. So this is the definition for the article. It modify or describe the noun and it is used before the noun to show whether it refers to something specific or not. And um, in a way article can also be described as adjective because it talks more about noun. It helps us to know what a noun is. So it also tells us something about noun like adjective. Then in English we have three articles that is a and and the. So a and an is defined as indefinite articles and the is the only definite articles in English. Um, definite means to be clear. So first we are going to discuss what is what is definite articles. Then we will be having a, a discussion on what is indefinite article. So definite article and definite means to be clear, exact or obvious about something. It is called definite because it is used in relation particular thing or a person. So we are using definite article to show or to talk about something that is very exact or obvious and the is defined uh, definite article in English which used to refer to particular nouns the identities of which are known. So we are using the articles uh, the article the that is the definite article to talk about a particular noun with, uh, in which the identity is known and the definite article indicates that noun is specific so the speaker talk about a particular thing examples of definite articles in the sentences i will pick you up at the airport so here we are talking about airport so places like airport beach uh, in front of those things we can use the and I really enjoyed the book I have just finished reading. So we are talking about a particular book. So we are using the uh, definite article the. We, there are situations that we use a definite article that is the in the east the sun rises and falls in the west. And next sentence is the earth is revolving around the sun. In these two sentences, earth or sun or west, east, north, south, all these are universal truth. So we can use article the, that is the definite article in front of the universal truth. Then, now let's see what is indefinite article. Indefinite means something which is not clear. So it is just opposite to that of definite article and they are called indefinite because the identity of a thing or a person being spoken about is left unclear or indefinite. And the definite art, indefinite article indicates that the noun is not someone or something in particular. The speaker talks about anyone or any type of things. Or in indefinite articles in English are a and an. For example, do you have a pencil? Or I want to have an apple. So these are the example for indefinite articles. So we have certain rules to use articles in English. So to make it very clear, I have made it in a box. Let me explain how it is. So the rule number one is if you are talking about count nouns and the specific identity is not noun, you can uh, not noun. You can use a or an. And if you are talking about non-count noun and the specific identity is not noun, that means you should not use any article. And in second uh, case, you are talking about count nouns and the specific identity is noun, then you can use the definite article the. And if you are talking about count nouns and the specific identity is noun, then again you can use the definite article the. And in rule number three, all things or things in general. So if you are talking about all things or things in general like music, birds, 
you should not use any articles um so and also when we are talking about article there are places that we should not use any article here um, let me tell you why because the usage of article is one of the most confusing things to remember for many english uh, learners so as you are a non english speakers it will be very hard for you to remember where you should use and where it should not be used um so it is not always necessary to articles uh, to use articles everywhere and so here are the things and cases where you should not use any article first one when you are talking about things in general like i have already told you if you are talking about things in general like birds here i like birds so here the speaker is talking birds in general so in that case you don't have to use any article secondly when you are talking about plural count nouns that means dogs makes great pets so here the dogs the person is not talking about a particular dog but dogs in general so here you don't have to and also uh, it is a plural noun so you don't have to use an article while you are talking about plural nouns and when you are talking about non count noun example music like i have already told you if you are telling or uh, talking about music for example i love music you should not use any article so if you are using i love the music you are talking about particular music but uh, in case if you are uh, talking about generally music is general so you don't have to use any article when you are talking about um, non count nouns then when you are talking about specific days or ho uh, holidays geography companies languages you don't have to use any articles here i have given you an example that i have bought candles for diwali diwali is a celebration right so you don't have to use any article in front of a um celebration or if it 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 is the case of languages like i like tamil i speak english i speak spanish you don't have to use any articles then when you are talking about geography okay um articles are not used before any countries or states or cities towns continent um single lake so single mountain etc so you should not use article in front of any countries or states there will be exception uh, i will be discussing it later so before telling that uh, keep in mind that you should not use any articles when you are talking about geography uh that is country state cities uh like canada um chennai delhi uh the uh, uh, but here in the second example it is like uh, mount rosa is part of the alps mountain range so mount rosa is a single mountain right so you don't have to use article in front of that but the alps refer to a group of mountain so in that case you have to use article yes um and here are the exception where you can use article in front of countries like united arabs we usually say the united arabs uh, the russian federation the people's republic and the united kingdom of great britain so in that cases you can use um uh, article and the netherlands the philippines the bahamas the maldives so before them due to the plural nature of names of countries we are using the definite article the and uh, and english is a language which we cannot um, classify into a particular set of rules we cannot make each and everything as rules in english so it is hard for us to uh, keep rules for each and everything in english so there are, there will always be some exception while we are talking about articles and do not use article when you talk about companies for example steve job founded apple apple is a company amazon is a company so you don't have to use definite article in front of a company and um when you talk about languages like i already mentioned uh, i speak hindi i speak tamil you don't have to use any languages when you are talking about places or location or streets 
you don't have to use any articles my house is located on kelowell drive or my um, house is located um, on tirichango you don't have to use any um articles in front of street or um places or location however there are specific places that do not need the use of an article for example the bank the hospital Uh, the post office the airport like we have already discussed the train station the bus stop the beach in that cases you can use articles uh, when you are talking about sports or physical activities you don't have to use any articles i play cricket i play badminton i play kabaddi so in that case also you don't have to use any articles when there is a noun plus number you don't have to use article that is um she is staying in hilton hotel in room number 127 so if there is any noun plus number you don't have to use um uh, the uh, article the train to montreal leaves from platform 9 so here platform is a noun and 9 is a number so if there is any noun plus number combination you don't have to use any articles then when uh, you're talking about academic subjects like mathematics physics chemistry or whatever it is you don't have to use any article um so you should only say the subject name alone and that's all about articles thank you so much for your patient listening hope i i have made you get something